Hey guys, Tim McAmos back here in the shop tonight to talk about a few more uh, fabricating tools. We've been going through our series of fabrication and we started with identifying some tubing and we went through a couple episodes of tools. So tonight I've got some tubing benders, some small tubing benders. These are, these are what we use in our shop here. We also have them for sale on our site, but they're very, very handy when you're putting your own car together. So we've got two different styles here. And uh, once the main chassis fabrication is done, there are tons of little accessories that get mounted on the on the chassis. Everything from the steering column to nitrous bottle racks to handles, parachute handles, stuff like that. Lots of small tubing. Everything from a quarter inch all the way up to half inch tubing is bent and fit in different places to mount items on the chassis itself. So, uh, so we've got these two different styles here and I wanted to go through a little bit of explanation on each one of them and then uh, what their best uses are for. So both of these are made by a uh, rigid uh, tool. So the, the, there's a couple of unique differences between them. And unfortunately, uh, you know that I like USA made stuff. Um, these are not. Unfortunately, that's all we can get. Um, we've tried to find uh, USA benders, but they just don't, there's nobody makes anything that's even comparable. So we had to settle for this crap, but uh, they do, uh, they do the job very nicely. Um, they both have their place in different parts of the car for tubing that you want to bend. So this is kind of a standard bender. This is what we would call an HD version of it, which is just a heavy duty version. The standard bender, um, it's pretty nice. Uh, they, they've got a little flat here, which is you can uh, clamp in the vise because some of this tubing, uh, once you get over 5 16 bending it by hand is pretty tough for um, like for 3 8 to half inch, like especially half inch. Now these have just a standard uh, mandrel and shoe. The shoe here is going to drag around the tube. So when I flip this over, clamp the tube in there, I'm going to put this on zero. Basically, I'm going to pull this around and bend that tube just around here. And I can bend it right here to 90. Now, 90 is not going to be 90 because the chrome molly has got a little bit of a um, Billy's fucking exhaust gas coming in the shop right now. but. So when you bend that around like here and put your zero mark at 90, it really won't be a 90 degree bend in chrome molly because you're going to have what's called spring back, which is the amount of tension in this in this bent tube because you're actually stretching the back side and shrinking the inward side. So you're going to get a little spring back. So you'll have to bend it just a hair past 90 and, and you'll just have to use your best judgment on where that's at. So you'll have to bend it just a touch over 90 and then pull it back off to get it to 90. So this tube is going to go in here, similar to this. So you got this little arm that's going to catch it. And so this is what it looks like when it's in its proper, it's ready to bend. So see, I'm, I'm on zero, so I've got my zero marks lined up. And then if I push this around here, that follower is just going to bend that tube around there. So it does a nice job. You know, it's a nice smooth bend and it, it really does good. So we have these, our standard version, in uh, 3 16 quarter inch, 5 16 3 8 and half inch. These are a little more economical than the HD version and they do do a nice job. If you use them a lot, they'll, they'll wear out a little quicker, but they are a very nice tool to have. And they are, e even if you buy a kit from us that's got bent tubing in it, these are nice to have to tweak it a little bit or make it kind of more custom fit to your car. Since some of the kits we have to have are the, the tube's got to be bent kind of just generally so that it fits more than one application. If you have a set of these, um, then you can tune those up and modify the lead a little bit and, and make it fit exactly to what you need. So without, uh, without something like this, bending this tube is impossible to get that nice of a finish. So, um, so these are the standard version, but then if you go over here to uh, what we would call the heavy duty version, it's like I said, it's from the same company and um, they have a, a little bit nicer options on this. So it's got a, uh, a little bit different catch here and uh, it's actually got rollers in here. These little, the followers are um, on a pin. So they roll instead of dragging uh, like this follower is that these will, these will actually roll. So it's much easier to bend the tube around there. And these also have um, an adjustable handle here. So like if I'm gonna bend this over here to 90, once I get past 90, you, you have to cross over. You have to cross over and bend like this. 
Well, these actually have a little catch here so you can unlock it. And then you can, so you, if you want to bend it this far and then you can unlock it and flip this around to here and then relock it. Okay. So now I can bend on around here and I can get to 180 and my hands don't cross over. So that's kind of a nice little option. Um, still has a nice little flat here to, to clamp into the vise. So this one's actually got a machine tab. So if you clamp this into the vise, you can easily bend that around. So I'm going to show you on this tube here because it's, it's easier to move the handle once there's a tube in there. This is a 3 8 bender and it's the same version. It's got the little followers in it that are rollers. So that's, that's really nice. And so like I said, this one is currently locked and I could bend this just past 90 and, um, and then it's going to get kind of hard to cross over and bend it. So then I can, I can loop that handle back around and get another bite at it. It's also got a lot little wider clamp here. So the tube, so you don't want this tube to slip. Um, if the, if the tube slips at all, when you're bending it, it'll kink. So you, you really can't have that tube slip at all. Sometimes we've got a particularly tough piece, um, especially titanium. Titanium tubes really tough to bend. We'll actually take a little vice grip and clamp it right here on the back side of this catch so that we know that the tube um, is not going to slip. Titanium is very expensive tube, so when you bend it, you want to bend it one time and it be right so you can't afford to kink the stuff. So um, the chrome molly won't really uh, slip very much because it's got a nice bite here and these rollers aren't trying to drag it out of the die. So this is a nice little bender and it is much easier to roll around here. And then see when I get to this point, see I can unlock this and then turn it and then lock it back again. And now I've got another good bite on it to go ahead and bend it around. And see that's the spring back I was telling you about. And the more, more bend you put in it, the more, see I'm almost to 180. So if I was going to bend this 180, I would go ahead and clamp it in a vise so that I can go ahead and pull this, these handles together and get past 180 and let it spring back to that number. So all the all the tubing is going to have a certain amount of spring back to it and the more bend you put in it the more spring back it's got so obviously a, a 15 degree bend doesn't have as much spring back as a 180 degree bend but again these are really nice little benders and the, the options on this particular one are, are very nice and they're very handy to have and you see it puts a nice smooth bend it's no kinks in it it, it looks really really nice so they do do a good job. Again, I apologize for these things being import, but trust me, we have scoured the world looking for something better. Unfortunately, this is what we got. And, and the quality is good. I mean, it's a decent build uh, for, for what it is. And uh, they do an excellent job. These, these have been used around the shop a lot, and you can see they still look brand new. So uh, really good investment. These are, the only difference is um, these start at quarter inch. Uh, the other, um, the standard style, like I said, starts at 3 16ths. And the 3 16 one is really just for the brake lines on the car. So no, nothing else on the chassis we would use a 3 16 for other than brake lines. So these, are, these work nice for that. So again, uh, it's kind of just a quick overview of these hand benders. Um, it's, uh, it's really nice to have the whole set. And if you're putting a car together yourself or you're doing some modifications or you're adding something or, or changing some mounts, if you're mounting a delay box, if you're mounting any kind of a nitrous valve, anything that you have in the car that you need to bend some tubing for, these, these benders are worth their weight. I mean, they are really, really good and they do an excellent job. I think you'll be totally happy with it because we've put them through their paces and uh, they, don't, uh, they don't give any trouble. Um, thanks for watching. Call us with any questions. Uh, we'll be glad to help you out.